Nimmo's kids. 15 seconds to curtain, everybody. Hit the lights and cue the band. Are you sitting around with nothing to do? Meet my friend who's furry and blue. It's Arlo. Arlo! He has his very own show. It's Arlo. So grab your supplies. Let's make a surprise with Arlo. Arlo! He has his very own show. It's Arlo. Arlo's art show. Ooh. Live from the station. Full of creation. It's that spunky monkey, a guy with an eye for design. He's the man with the crayon. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Arlo! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Wow, what a creative looking crowd! Today on My Art Show. Hey, have you ever heard of Niagara Falls? What's Niagara Falls? It's one of the most famous waterfalls in the whole world. I even drew a picture of it so I'd always remember the trip. When I was little, my mom, my dad, and I flew to see Niagara Falls, and boy were our arms tired. When we got there, I saw really big water waves, so I waved right back. That sounds like a splash. It was. But the best part of the trip was when we went swimming at the hotel for some chimps and dip. Then we ate some pizza. What a fun trip. It really was. A two, three, four. Let's give it up for the Slippery Bunch. Today our guest is Thomas Paul Asklor. And he's an artist who loves painting the Niagara Falls. Yeah, but Arlo, how does he get the water to look like it's coming out of the canvas? He uses a special technique called impasto. That's my favorite kind of food. <laughs> no, no, no. Not impasta. Impasto. Ooh. Impasto is when you make a painting, but you put on so much paint that it sticks out of the surface. Arlo, how can we learn more? Let's meet Thomas now. Welcome to my studio. Come on in. A two, three, four. Niagara Falls is uh, a waterfall that uh, was created um, about 12,000 years ago. It actually started right down here in Lewiston and in a, a rapid period of time it carved through the gorge and through the whirlpool to where its present location is today. The subject matter of Niagara Falls seems to be ideal to me because everything that I love about painting you can achieve with that subject matter. For instance, um, I start off with a very thick and a heavy impasto style, such as like Vincent Van Gogh, but you could also do uh, techniques that are um, that are more uh, a part of uh, watercolor painting. You get this wide range of, of paint applications. The, the old toothbrush technique that uh, is very popular with a lot of painters. You know, you, you load it up with watered down acrylic and just kind of pull back on it. And, create the little splashing sensation. And then I work kind of in reverse from that. I'll, I'll go to like medium sized brushes and then I'll keep reducing the size of my brushes till I get to the really fine uh, brushes to do a lot of linear work. So it's like a lattice work of lines on top of layers and layers. And that's what you have in water. You have multiple layers. You have the surface, which can be reflective. And then you have you know the depths of the water, what's down there. And so that's those are mysterious darker colors and deeper colors. Thanks for stopping by. Back to you, Arlo. Thanks again, Thomas. Wasn't that great? I loved all them colors in his painting. I loved how big all of his canvases are. Well, I never knew you could use a paintbrush to make such great art. He is such a talented artist. I'm just so inspired by him. Now we can make our own waterfall art, just like Mr. Asklar. Did you bring your supplies? We, we did! Wow! Let's go to the easel. Welcome to the easel room. 
Today, we're gonna make our own Niagara Falls, like this. Ooh. Let's get started. This light blue is gonna be the background color for the sky. Next, we're gonna tear this green sheet of paper. By tearing the paper, we get a nice organic edge, which will be the horizon line. And now let's put a thin line of glue on the edge. Next, we're going to draw the top of the falls. I start by making a straight line. Then up near the end, I'm going to curve down. Then make the same shape again, but not quite as far. Now let's grab some scissors and cut it out. Next, I'm going to glue it to the top of this light blue piece. Make sure the sides line up. There you go. And if it doesn't reach all the way on the other side, then you can trim the ends off, like this. Then we glue the whole thing down. Now it's time to start painting! First, I'm going to use a dark green. And I'm going to gently dab it on. By dabbing this way, it'll give the paint a similar texture to trees in the background. Just like Mr. Asklar said, there are many layers in the falls. First, let's paint the depths of the water. I want to use a bright green for the bottom layer. Remember, we're not trying to completely fill the space. We want to paint lines and layers. Next, we want to use a dark purple paint for the deep parts of the water. Like this. That looks nice.
And now a little more over here. Okay, it's looking better. Now, as we get to the more shallow parts of the water, let's use a lighter blue. For the last layer, we're going to use white paint as the reflection on the surface of the water. Make sure you paint thin lines to highlight the other colors, just like Mr. Asklar does. Next, since we still have the white paint out, let's go back to the bigger brush. Now we're going to use the same dabbing technique that we did for the trees, but this time we're going to do it in the sky to make clouds. Gently dab them so they look soft. Last, I want to try to make the mist of the falls the same way Mr. Asklar did, with a toothbrush! Mix a little bit of water in the paint to thin it out. Put a little bit on your brush. Then we're going to scrape the bristles just like this. Look at that mist! After you use the toothbrush for painting, make sure you don't accidentally use it to brush your teeth again. That's it. What did you think? Wow, Arlo, that was pretty great. What'd you guys think? Right on! Well, that's all for today. We'll be back again with more cool art projects for you to try. But until then, make art every day. We'll see you next time on Arlo's Art Show. And kids at home, you can share the artwork that you make that's inspired by Asklar or the Niagara Falls. I'd love to see them. Just upload the photos to arlosartshow.com. Remember, make art every day. That was fun! Search for Nimble's Kids on YouTube. Make sure to click the subscribe button and come back soon.